Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I'm gonna be doing another week of my life this week. I was gonna do a weekend of my life last weekend and or this past weekend, but it wasn't very eventful. I was working most of it. Um, Sunday I didn't really work much. I only worked for like an hour and a half on Sunday, but um, Saturday I worked most of the day and Sunday like I was literally just trying to do all the other things like around the apartment that you kind of have to take care of um, on a weekly basis. So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna do a week in my life but it's an almost week because yesterday was monday and i didn't vlog yesterday um just because i was in a hurry in the morning i realized i had a lunch i had to go to um after i worked not after i worked out but like after i worked out in the morning i checked my like calendar and i was like oh my gosh the lunch i have is today for work so i like had to get ready in the morning so i was just like all over the place yesterday i was really tired yesterday evening i actually was off of work before seven for the first time on a weeknight like in two weeks so um it was really nice because I just like didn't do anything I watched euphoria and I took like an hour long bath and I went to bed at like 10 30 I took like a full like dose of melatonin but I just went to a brass tax which is like my favorite coffee shop right now in Houston I go through phases I like will obsess over one and then I'll obsess over the next one and blah 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 I tried brass tax back in September I think late September early October when I was studying for audit I remember for the CPA or no I was actually studying for reg so it was probably September I actually didn't really like brass tacks when I came that time but it's because of what I ordered I literally got a cold brew with like a splash of oat milk then I came back around Thanksgiving I brought my parents and I got a vanilla lavender iced latte and it was phenomenal and then I came um La this past weekend on Saturday to get me a coffee before I was working all day and I had a white mocha raspberry latte they have so many great flavors and then we came back on Sunday um so I went Saturday and Sunday and I'm here today on Tuesday because I'm just that obsessed right now but Sunday we came with our friends um and had breakfast tacos their breakfast tacos were really good and um I had a vanilla lavender latte then i wanted to try the gingerbread latte that's what my friend got on sunday when we came so i was like i want to try that so i came and got it what's up you guys it is at 2 45 i'm just now taking my lunch break because i wanted to finish up what i was working on before i went to lunch because i just like hate stopping in the middle of something because i find it like inefficient or at least just get to a very solid like stopping point and take note of it but i just refilled this i'm not using my hydro flask because the straw in my hydro flask is cracked and it like doesn't really suck the water so i need to order another straw for it because i don't have no idea where my actual ones are so i'm drinking out of this thing from starbucks that i've had for since like 2019 um but i love it i think it was actually a valentine's day cup um i love valentine's day like even when i've been single like i always just like love love it because you can like celebrate it with friends yourself so many different ways. I just got some of these in the mail. Um, Y'all know I worked with Hero in a recent video. They sent me their Mighty Patches and their little lightning wand, which are both incredible. But I saw on TikTok that they have nose patches and I had no idea. So I ordered some and I'm going to actually put one on right now as we speak because I literally showed y'all this morning that I have a little pimple on my nose. And it's because my pores on my nose are so clogged and I feel like my blackheads are horrible too. So I'm just going to put one of these on let it sit while I work because I don't have any meetings or anything today. However, it will be interesting because of my nose piercing, which is irritated right now. Okay, I honestly think I put it a little bit too low, but it's fine. And I didn't really press it in on this side because I don't want it to like pull on my skin by my nose ring. For lunch today, I'm gonna pick up groceries tomorrow so we really don't have that much. Um, I'm gonna eat, this is butternut squash soup from Local Foods. Local Foods is really good if you're ever in Houston. Um, and I didn't eat it the other day, so I'm gonna eat it now, but I'm gonna toast a piece of rosemary sourdough from H-E-B to like dip in it. Um, so I feel like that'd be a really great combo. I'm gonna have a kombucha, my last one. Actually, no, I have one more before I get my groceries tomorrow. Hi guys, I'm home from Spen. I went to a 6.30 class and I shouldn't have ate before. Honestly, I should have just ate a protein bar before because like my stomach was hurting. Um, I was anticipating getting dinner ready like earlier, but I ate like 45 minutes before class started, which I just feel like I need like 
an hour plus. So my stomach hurts really bad right now. Um, just because it was very high intensity after like 45 minutes after eating. Um, but I'm just wearing this set active set. Um, it is the luxe form, the leggings and like the crop sports bra, but it's more so like a tank top. I'm super bloated right now and it was so funny. My friend Savannah came with me. She got in my car and she was wearing like green set active sports bra and leggings and then we're both wearing the exact same pair of socks. So it's just like Cosmo and Wanda moment. Good morning everyone. Hello from my car again this morning. I just ran to HEB and got our groceries for the week. I did curbside as always. And then I went by Starbucks, of course, because content. And also I feel like when you like start a job or if you're working from home, going to Starbucks is so much more or like getting coffee anywhere is so much more about the experience in the morning than it is about getting the Starbucks. Like I have no problem with my Nespresso coffee at home i love it it's so good um but something about like having a reason to get out of my apartment and i know i was getting groceries anyways but like going and getting a coffee is like literally just like a form of self-care for some strange reason but it seriously makes a world of a difference in my day like or in my week really if i like one or two times a week can just like get out in the morning and like it gets me out of bed in the morning instead of like snoozing you know what i mean so about to carry this in but i wanted to say this is probably the best starbucks drink i think i've ever created um and gotten from starbucks not the best but it's like tied for first i guess the other one i like is really similar to this but this is the ice brown sugar oat milk espresso basically um but with cold foam and i only did one pump of brown sugar one pump of white mocha with blonde espresso and then vanilla bean powder like it's just like made my day a million times better okay time for a quick grocery haul before i put all this away i'm so mad because i forgot to get an onion and i need one for a recipe this week and something i like don't like about curbside is if you um like place an order you can't remove things after you've placed it but you can add things so there's stuff in this that i like meant to remove because i ended up getting something else in place of it or whatever so it is what it is but um i got two apples Two avocados i haven't bought avocados in forever because um i think i told y'all i like i used to eat avocado toast like every single day for breakfast and i when i was studying for my exams my appetite got really messed up and i just like got repulsed by avocado toast and eggs so i haven't been eating either of those things like at all really raspberries more toothpaste lemons toasted coconut vanilla yogurt um this texas heat trail mix my favorite the scrub and turmeric trail mix um this jam that i love the raspberry fruit and chia spread some more butter and then i got mike's hot honey for when i want to make the avocado toast and then i got two of these meal simple things also got this chicken and this chicken on accident because i meant to remove this one um because so i was gonna get this to put in my white chicken chili that i love to make um they were out of sourdough so they gave me white bread at this brand so these for griffin um these are like my favorite pasta noodles bananas frozen fruit from H-E-B, a little bit of turkey meat, lunch meat, and then sunflower seeds for the salad I love to make at home, some ready rice packs, chicken, and then um, I got passion berry bliss and guava goddess synergy kombucha, and then I got two of the prickly pear Buddhist brew because those are like my favorite, so that's like the quick grocery haul. Good morning guys, happy today Thursday. Today's only Wednesday. What? Is today Wednesday or Thursday? Wednesday, oh my gosh. Our stove says Wednesday, February 2nd, so it's a day behind I guess. I need to fix that because my heart just sank when I if I if it was only Wednesday I would cry. Um, but it's Thursday morning. I'm currently making a coffee for Griffin because we're out of cold brew. So I just do some almond milk, splash of creamer, and then I'll either do two of the Altissimo espresso pods or I'll do the double espresso 
which I know I have, but I, because I got one in a sample for my last order. Yeah, I worked really late last night. I haven't really vlogged. I didn't really, I took a dinner break to eat my food, but I didn't like take a dinner break, um, if you know what I mean. And I didn't get off until like 11, 30, 11, 45. And I just didn't want to leave the bulk of it today because I have like three meetings today in the middle of the day. But yeah, the turnaround on this, it's not even anything hard. It's just been time consuming because sometimes like you get instruction, but you still just have to kind of jump into it and figure it out yourself and just ask questions as you go. So um, yeah, I was just really busy and I was like so tired in the after late afternoon when I was working on it, like right around dinner time. That it was I was just moving slowly but then like once I woke back up after dinner I was moving a lot more efficiently but I swear from like 2 to like 5 30 my brain it just does not work Super cold today like this big snowstorm is going through like North Texas and everything and honestly it's coming within like two hours of us but it's not quite close so it's like super overcast cold and rainy out but I just did my skincare gua sha ice rolled all that stuff that just kind of wakes my face up um, I literally feel ten times more awake than I did ten minutes ago before I did any of that I did some morning stretching earlier but I was talking to one of my friends the other day and she's like really good about and consistent with doing medita meditation every morning and I think she just uses like the Melissa Wood health app which I've told y'all that I've used or I, I haven't used it in a while but I was using it pretty frequently towards the end of 2021 um, and I love the meditations on it and like the gentle stretches but um, I did do some gentle stretching which y'all saw Ella was just having so much fun with it because she just has so much energy in the morning and she thinks I'm trying to play when I'm like getting on the floor and stuff but um I did go ahead and meditate I didn't like do any guided anything I was going to but then I was like you know what I'm just gonna try it on my own and focus on my breathing and then any thought I have try to like visualize it as like watching the thought like come in my mind and exit my mind um, and just really focus on my breathing, but I did it like laying down with my legs up against the wall and like my butt and my hips up against the wall like right here because I've like seen that that's like really beneficial for like multiple things um, And I was like, I want to try it and honestly, it just like felt good um, Like I don't know. I just felt really good and I did that for literally like three or four minutes So not long at all, but I like really felt like I needed to do it because I just need more of a clear mind during the day I feel like my mind's kind of all over the place and I've noticed since I started work that my short-term memory is literally horrible. I will get up out of my chair to do something and I will forget as I'm walking to go do it, which is horrible. And I just want to feel like I can process things quicker and I want to actually process things quicker, not just feel like it. And I just want my mind to be able to function better throughout the day and my friend was saying she feels like she's able to like think more clearly like her like she's not she doesn't feel as constantly stimulated um and part of that is staying off of social media as well so like try not to like go on at all like in the mornings really not until my lunch break even even after that it just makes more sense and it's just easier um to think and speak when you take that time to just like really be present so that's what i really wanted to do and focus on this morning because i noticed yesterday i was like my brain can't keep operating like this um with the busyness in my head so i just needed something to sort of get my mind right but i'm gonna make my breakfast and coffee and hop on work good morning it's friday I want you guys to watch this really quickly. I'm gonna set up the camera to where you can see Ella. And she's eating her food right now. We just came inside from our walk. It's really so cold outside. It feels like temperature is like 14. Um, it could have snowed last night, but it didn't. <laughs> and I'm going to grab her treat bag and just watch her like run to me when she hears it. Okay. <laughs> no, sit. Good girl. Make some coffee and a yogurt bowl. Today's outfit, I'm just wearing this 
Text me when you're champ, Teddy. And these Alpha Elite joggers, which I got these because like a fitness influencer I follow is raving about them and they're really not that great. They, they just like run really large because I think I got a small and like I have to pull the drawstring like all the way for them to fit my waist and then even still they're like falling off of me and they're also just extremely baggy and kind of long. But whatever, their sweatpants are comfy for the cold weather. And then my mini Uggs. Um, but yeah, I didn't get off work until almost 1 a.m. last night. I have a migraine. It's so bad just from like looking at my computer. It was so hard for me to fall asleep because when I closed my eyes, I could just see a bright screen. Um, I was wearing my blue light glasses for part of yesterday, but I ended up taking them off at one point just because I was like, you know, when you gotta just do this <laughs> and you're like crying over work and you're just like, oh my gosh, I had to do that. <laughs> so I took them off and I forgot to put them back on. But yeah, I think it is not talked about enough how dumb you feel when you like start something, like when, when you start a new job, like that feeling of like having to do things for the first time and that feeling of like knowing that you don't know anything is so scary. If you know me, you know I don't like feeling like I don't, I don't know what I'm doing and that I like don't know anything. I'm using this Columbia Nespresso coffee pod. I wanted to switch things up. I was getting kind of, I wasn't getting sick of mine. I was like, I just need something different, you know? Um, so I got these on my last Nespresso order. But I think, I don't remember if it's these or the Mexico ones that I like more. The Mexico ones are green. I just can't remember which one's better. So next time I'm gonna have to get a sleeve of the green. But these are really good. Yeah, anyways, continuing our conversation, we don't talk enough about just how horrible it is to start work and just feel so clueless. Like when I, my first like assignment I really had, I felt really dumb. And it was like two days later, I was like, why did I not like it all clicks kind of like after you work on it for a bit and you're like, why couldn't I have just gotten this right off the bat? And then it happened with my second assignment and then it happened with my third assignment. And it's like you, I get so overwhelmed by like, my fear of not knowing how to do anything, which is normal. Like you're not supposed to know how to do anything when you start out. I get so overwhelmed by that that I think it works me up. And of course it's gonna take a little time to understand what you're doing. Um, but it's just funny because all three of like my big assignments that I've had so far, I have like started. And when I've started them, I'm like, I feel like I'm moving through this kind of slow. Like this is really confusing. I don't know what's going on. And then it's like day two of working on it or day three, I'm like, why did I not know what was going on? Like, this isn't that bad. Granted, some stuff is still kind of bad, um, just in terms of its, like, confusingness level. But yeah, I had, basically, I had a deadline of this morning to finish up something, so that's why I stayed up so late, because I, I would rather just keep going at night, because I don't like leaving off somewhere and coming back to it. That's a good thing. At least I didn't get this on, like, Friday night, and I'm having to turn in Monday or something. It could be worse, I guess, but let's work. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying to be precise over here. Look at my pile, all right? I was at Robbie at work and I came over here and asked Griffin. And I was like, oh, what stuff are you on? Like, what do I, what do you want help with? <laughs> Everything. And he's like, I'm still on step one. And he is only, and you've been doing this for like 30 minutes. No, I have not. I had to clean all of them first. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> That's messed up, he's dude. He's like, I have six potatoes. You didn't have to cut them that small, I don't think. Cause aren't you mashing it? I have to make a phone call, so I'm gonna do that after I finish. Uh, helping with dinner because literally starving. Very hungry. Okay, it is seven o'clock on the dot. Another update from my kitchen. Um, Griffin pretty much cooked most of dinner for us, thankfully. I just sent over what I needed to send over through email and I need to look at one email before I log off and it's basically just like my to-do for this weekend. Because unfortunately I do have to work again this weekend, but honestly I don't really mind the Saturdays because it's like you're on your own time and I haven't had to work like extremely long on any Saturdays yet. I'll look at that just to get an idea of how long I need to spend on it tomorrow so I know what time I need to wake up because I was gonna go get a new phone tonight and put myself on my own like phone plan or at least figure out how to bill my phone's stuff to me personally 
so that because that's like what the one thing that I have left that I have not taken care of in terms of adulting with being like fully financially independent my phone is still under my dad because it's just like we've tried to transfer it so many times and we just like both get busy and it's been really chaotic so I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning because we didn't want to go do it tonight with when they were like about to close we figured one they would be busy and two um, we were both really hungry and I just like didn't want to sit in a T-Mobile store for forever. I'll have a caller phone I want and the T-Mobile I'm planning on going to, but I don't really care because it's, I mean, the case covers it. But anyways, Griffin made our shepherd's pie from HelloFresh. It looks fabulous and he said it's really good. I have the worst migraine right now and I think it's just because I haven't ate a lot today and because of my lack of sleep and staring at screens for so long. So I'm going to eat this and I'm so happy to just like sit down at the counter and actually eat my dinner instead of at my desk because I feel like I've ate most of my dinners this week at my desk, don't so. Oh, don't burn my mouth. <laughs> I'll do my best. Um, but yeah, that's just an overview of where we're at. But yeah, I have so much I want to do tomorrow, but I also really want to chill, um, and I would like to finish my work so that Sunday I can at least chill, and I know we're probably gonna hang out with friends tomorrow night. So I gotta still get up early, which means I gotta go to bed early, but I just wanted to gauge how much work I had tomorrow before I completely log off for the night. I just loaded up the dishes and cleaned up a little bit after dinner. Um, our apartment is so messy. I would really consider looking into like hiring somebody to like clean it because it just takes so much time. It's like I don't want to do that on the weekend because as of right now in this season, I mean I've worked almost like three weeks straight of working weeks and weekends, and it's like I just don't want to spend the free time I do have on the weekends cleaning. You know what I mean? But I don't even know why I'm talking about that. I, there's like mud over there on the floor because of all the rain and Ella and um, we ran out of the wipes that we used to wipe our feet when we come in. So we have like mud tracked everywhere. It's kind of cute, but also it's messy. But anyways, um, we, or not we, I got this glow screen in the mail from Supergoop. I ordered it off of Revolve. I am going to start using Tretinoin on my face. Um, I've heard and read so many good things about it and one of my close friends has been using it for 12 weeks and she was we were talking about it for like forever the other night but you have to really be good about wearing your sunscreen when you are using it and on it and it should be delivering soon so i wanted to go ahead and get some because i only have a little bit left of my little trial size of super group that i have but i got the glow one because the one i tried is i think it's like the this store is literally a mess i need to go through it so these things are literally empty and i was like i'm taking them out but I'm going out of this, and it's just the Unseen sunscreen. And I like it a lot, but it's definitely like mattifying, and I really like a glow and dewy look. So I went ahead and ordered, like, the full size of this, but I really like the way it felt on my face other than that. And I also really like the La Roche Per Se, um, their Melts in Milk. It's also really good. Those are, like, my two favorite SPFs, so I just wanted to get a full size of this. Guys, I am about to hop in bed, turning on my little, which I'm not like going to bed, but I'm gonna lay in bed and relax because it's my, I like am really good about like not coming in my room during like the work day or anything, unless I'm like grabbing a pair of socks or something to put on, but I definitely like to treat this as like my just rest place because there's no separation between kitchen, living room, and office for me. It's definitely super important to have like a space that represents, or not represents, but it's literally just like exclusive for rest and unwinding. So here we go. I'm just turning on my little fake candles. This is the reality of just life, having stuff all over your freaking dresser. I have these pants that I got Griffin for our anniversary that I need to return so bad. I actually need to like print that label tonight or tomorrow morning or something and do that this weekend. But I just took a shower, washed my hair. I wasn't gonna wash my hair because I just washed it like two nights ago or three nights ago and I'm normally a once a week person. But I don't know, curly hair, it's just so complicated and it's hard to like keep it looking good after like a day or two. And I like really, really struggle with that. I like do everything that everybody says to do in terms of the way you sleep with it, like maintaining it, like trying not to touch it and everything. But I'll play some YouTube videos maybe if there's any good ones and maybe respond to some dms because i'm like i feel like, feel like i've barely been on instagram this week so um i want to do that because i haven't responded to any in like a month i feel like and maybe read a little bit or something like that but i've got my um canopy a little humidifier on and i've got my water mm -hmm. 